Action. You know nothing. In fact, you know less than nothing. If you knew that you knew nothing, well, that could be something. But you don't. I love Catherine Bigelow. And the films that she's made, Hurt Locker, Point Break, they're so inspiring. And her work has spanned the last three decades. It's women like her that inspire me to be able to go out on my own as a producer, a director, a writer, and tell the stories that I want to tell the way I want to tell them. I think a major turning point for me was college. My dad decided he was going to ship me off with no credit card. So every month I would get X amount of money in my account and I had to learn to live with that money. If by the end of the month I was broke, well, that was my problem. So I realized pretty soon that I needed to get a job. And actually it was quite amazing that my dad made me budget at an early age of 18 and those lessons of how to plan and save have really stayed with me for the rest of my life. And they've taught me everything that I know about how to invest and standing on my own two feet. I was living in New York and I was interning at Mira Nair's production company and like all amazing internships it was unpaid. So to you know, live, I had to figure out a way of earning some additional money. So there was a club promoter that was willing to give me cash at the end of the month if I did odd jobs for him. So I had to pick up his dog, feed his dog, walk his dog, get him his Starbucks. I mean, you name it, I had to do it and it was, it was, it was not fun. But at the end of the month when I got that envelope of money, oh, I was ecstatic. And I had like all these grand plans I thought I'd go have some like fancy sushi or I'd buy my new pair of sunglasses or some shoes. But I did none of that. I just saved it. So you quickly learn the value of money when you start spending your own. And now I make it a point. Every month, X amount of money goes into savings. I don't think about it. I don't ever see it. And I invest it. And it's become really easy now. It's become habit. I think the minute you start spending your own money, you learn the value very, very quickly. Listen, it's not rocket science. Trust me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. My earliest money lesson definitely came from both my parents. Um, they would teach me that the first step to being financially independent and having a sense of freedom was not to be dependent on either your father or your husband. And I think that was the reason I started taking control over my finances and started investing. Because having that sense of power, independence, freedom, and control over your money, oh, I mean, that feeling is incredibly empowering. Financial freedom means that I can make the choices that I want to make without being questioned. I mean, that I can wake up every morning and make the hard choices that I need to make without having to rely on anybody else. I think being financially independent is more about than just earning money. It's about owning it. Financial freedom is also about allowing myself to go down the path that I chose for me. Yes, I am. I am a, I am a gold digger. Ever since I was young, I had a very specific dream and goal in mind and I adapted and changed my situation and my reality in order to achieve those goals and make sure that my dreams could come true. I worked really hard to make sure that I achieved everything I could possibly imagine for myself and in my life. My name is Shauna Levy and I am a gold digger.